What's going on everybody? Metaverse Josh here. Today we have episode 6 of Building the Metaverse. What I'm going to teach you today is a little bit about uh, colliders and how that affects the camera and the scene. And I'm also going to teach you how to build your own skybox using AI. This tool is free and easy to use. You can quickly build your own really nice skyboxes using AI uh, for Unity. I'm going to teach you how to do that, but first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a few colliders to the scene and the reason why you want to do that I'm just going to test the scene real quick uh, just so you can kind of see the uh, example and you may have noticed this yourself um, when you have no colliders on your ceiling or on your walls um, the camera object doesn't know when to stop zooming out so you'll notice that uh, once the scene is loaded up here when I zoom out with the camera because it doesn't know where the colliders are in the scene it just keeps zooming and then you can see outside of my uh, classroom object a little longer than a few minutes later now here I am I just loaded into the scene and quickly I'm gonna notice that when I zoom out I can see all the ceiling here I can see through the walls uh, this is really good and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this to have colliders on the ceiling and on the walls uh, as well as the floor so that the camera doesn't zoom out past that. We're actually going to go to the uh, the walls here and there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can either go to the inspector and hit add and then you can search for collider and you can choose the different types of colliders you want uh, to add here. Normally you want to stay away from using mesh colliders on high density meshes. In other words uh, things like trees with tons of leaves on it, things like that. You don't need colliders on those types of ob objects. You can use something a little bit more efficient, like a box collider or a sphere collider. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use mesh colliders since we're talking about walls um, that don't have a lot of different uh, polys in there. And so it's, that's just going to be the easiest thing to do for right now. Uh, so I'm going to grab my ceiling and my walls, uh, and I'm just going to go to Component which I can do here as well and go to physics and then mesh collider and that's going to add a collider in all those spots for me uh, and that's going to keep my camera from zooming out uh, past that. Another thing I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and just select um, my desks here because it's all one object and I'm going to go ahead and add a mesh collider to that as well since I know I don't want to run into that um, so physics again and then mesh collider. Alright now I have all the colliders in my scene I'm going to go ahead and save the scene. I'm going to test it and make sure it operates the way that I expect. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, we're back into the scene again. And this time I can zoom around with the camera and it stays within the walls, the confines of the, the area of the scene that I want it to stay in. And so that's really how you keep the camera from zooming out past any parts of the scene that you don't want to be seen. Uh, you just had a collider there. So the next thing I want to show you guys, if you noticed here uh, in this model, it looks like the uh, the blinds here are all the way rolled down. So we're going to change that, and then we're going to add a skybox to our scene so it looks nice outside. So I'm going to minimize that for a second. And if you see inside of the game window here, um, you'll see that we have these blinders here. I'm just going to take the scale tool, and I can quickly scale them all in one dimension just by dragging this here and that looks about three quarters of the way rolled up I guess so then I'm gonna take the move tool and I'm gonna move it back up um, and now we can see outside a little bit well that's kinda of boring looking so the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make it where we have a nice skybox out there so what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna use uh, blockade labs which is a free AI tool that I found online um, and all you have to do is you just type up kind of what you want to see in here there's a few different types that you can choose from or you can just go to advanced no style words uh, but if you want it to look like a fantasy landscape or anime art style or realistic you can choose from any of these things to give you um, sort of a quick template of what it might look like and then it will use your description words uh, to build that and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, type up something like um, uh, the view from uh, outside in a 
urban city. And I'm going to choose realistic, and I'm going to hit generate. 12 seconds later. Now you'll see, once I've got the skybox generated, I can actually preview it just by looking around. Um, and obviously this just, this doesn't look like it's going to work for me since uh, it's on, it looks like it generated a rail here or something, and I don't necessarily want it to look like that. Uh, I'm going to try again um, for a different view, and that's another thing that we can do here, is if you didn't get exactly what you were looking for, we can actually modify that here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put uh, a view from outside on the ground in an urban city. And this time hopefully it will give me something uh, closer to what I'm looking for. I actually want it to look like I'm uh, looking outside of the window of a building that's on the ground there. Um, so this isn't really going to work for me. Uh, now I guess we could have made the, the building look like it was farther up. But in this case uh, I'm not really looking to make that. Um, and so this, I don't know if this is any better. This still kind of looks like uh, it's it's up in the sky. So sometimes you have to play with this. I'm probably going to just maybe uh, change the input words altogether here. Let's try something else. So I'm just going to type in here, ground view of an urban city. Cars are driving by, and people are walking in the streets and on the sidewalk. Let's just try that. There we go. So this looks a little bit closer to what I'm looking for, except I'm right in the middle of an intersection for some reason. This may not be noticeable because of how we can only kind of see out of one area. Uh, of the window and so we may just go ahead and use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click the download button and it's going to give me an image but I can't use that in Unity yet. I actually need to convert this to a PNG so I'm going to open it with Photoshop. You can use uh, any program you want. There's probably some online converters if you want to Google one uh, but I'm just going to use Photoshop since I have that installed. Uh, but you go ahead and open the image with whatever image editor program uh, that you'd like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just export this as a PNG. Now we'll want to export the PNG inside of our assets folder somewhere so that we can use it. Uh, and so I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to call it City Skybox. And what that's going to do is it's going to export that PNG into my assets folder and now I can see it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click inside of the assets folder here. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to name this material skybox and then I'm going to change the shader from universal render pipeline lit to skybox. In here, you want to choose the panoramic type of skybox, and then you want to drag your PNG into the texture selector here, and that will actually give you the skybox with that image. The next thing we'll want to do is go into our lighting settings. To do that, we'll go to Window, Rendering, and then Lighting. I like to just drag this over into the left side next to the hierarchy so I can switch tabs here. The first thing you'll want to do is go to environment and then inside here there's a skybox material. You can either drag your material into here or you can click and you'll see all the materials in your scene but you can just search for a skybox if that's what you named it. And so now you'll see that I can look outside and I'm actually using the city skybox that I downloaded. Now one of the things I can do before I test this because I can already see there's some weird AI stuff going on there. I might not want it to point that way. So what you can do is inside the inspector window for the skybox material you can actually slide this rotation here and it'll move the rotation around so if you're looking for a specific viewpoint in your skybox you'll get to choose that here. 
So I kind of like this one, and now I'm going to test it. So I'm going to hit File and Save, and I'm going to do Test Active Scene. A little later. And now I'm loaded back into my scene. Looks like all my colliders are working, and it also looks like my skybox is working. So I can see outside of the windows here, and there's the skybox that I chose. Now one of the things that we can do as well to modify this, sometimes if you get a dark looking scene, like it's supposed to look bright here, but it does look kind of dark still instead. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go back into here. I'm gonna adjust the exposure a little bit so that it looks a little brighter. Now the only thing is, it looks really, really bright outside uh, where those buildings are. And so I may rotate this a bit more so that I can try to get more buildings into my scene. Looks like that might be uh, as much as we can get. So I'm gonna go back actually to the original position uh, or something like this. That looks good there. And let's actually adjust the exposure a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my skybox set up the way that I want. I'm gonna hit save again. I'm gonna test active scene and just look at it one more time to make sure that's what I want before I publish. Five minutes later. All right, now that looks okay, but you see, you can see right here, this is where I join the texture. So this is actually not a good position uh, for this window since you can still see that. So I'm actually gonna go back to Blockade Labs again, and I'm gonna try to generate a different type of skybox. Instead of using realistic, this time I'm actually gonna use one of these new experimental. It's called Low Poly. It may not actually give me what I'm looking for, but I did see it the other day, and I decided I wanted to try to use it in one of my scenes soon, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Wow, now that's really cool looking. This is a uh, this is a very neat take on a skybox. It sort of has a neat little Minecraft looking vibe here. I think I'm gonna use this one. So we're just gonna download that. I'm gonna go back and I've gotta do the same thing with the image that I did last time, and that was to convert it into a PNG. Uh, but this time I can just drag and drop since it's the same dimensions and export it again. This time I'm going to call it City Skybox 2. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go back to Unity. I'm going to see my second skybox here. First I'm going to click the material and now I can just drag that second texture onto the new material or the same material. I can hit save, and now I've got that material updated with my new texture. And so again, we can rotate this if we want so that we get a different view. I kind of like the look of that tree. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna hit save, and I'm gonna test one more time before I publish. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right, we're back into the sandbox one last time. I'm going to come over here and look out the window. Wow, that looks so much better than the closed windows. Um, again, it's not the best skybox in the world because it is AI generated, but it is just amazing what AI can do these days. Uh, I didn't have to put uh, really much effort into this, and I already have a great looking skybox for my scene. So I hope that you can use descriptive uh, words to generate your own AI sky skyboxes better than the one that I've made here. Uh, but that's a pretty easy thing to do. I hope this uh, video has taught you how to make your own skyboxes and a little bit about the importance of colliders in your scene as far as it relates to cameras and how they move around. Until next time, everybody, it's been Metaverse Josh with Building the Metaverse. Take it easy, everybody. We'll see you next time.